everyone, welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor and welcome back to this island that we are making. Last time we were working on this little area here, we were working on the entrance to the river. So the river connects the sea to the forest. There is a fallen tree, there's some interesting things in the forest, but here, here is the what we were working on. So the beach is quite steep here and we needed to give it some plausibility. Uh, so we added rocks so that it looks like there's structures underground and then we added some plants some trees uh, we added this little ficus kind of got it stuck in there um, because there's no there's no item list we can't just select it from an item list and trying to select its toggle point now that it's buried in with a bunch of other items well well I mean GG is very difficult to do that uh, so it lives there now and I had to go away and think about does that look good does that look fine? And honestly, yeah, I think it does. I think it really does. So this area links uh, the river to the cargo ship. Um, one of the viewing uh, viewing corridors, I guess. And then if we look the other way, yeah, we can see the other main wreck on the island, and which is the boat. Uh, the boat? The boat that flies with two engines. And there's also a DC-3. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, okay, well, I can see how this episode's gonna go. Anyway, we've done a lot of work to the island, um, considering how much time we've put into it. It is probably the most detailed island we've done so far. There is a lagoon, there are several wrecks, there's the river, there's various islands on the outside, there's a little jumping puzzle. Um, but we gotta wrap this up. Honestly, we're gonna wrap it up. We we spent a lot of time here. Um, at some point we're gonna go back to the main game. So there are a few things I wanna do. Uh, we've got to tidy this beach up, obviously, um, because we just haven't been back to it for, for a while. Um, there's some rough edges around here, which is going to be, it just kind of bothers me. This this beach is kind of sharp. The, the angle between the water and the sand is, is too sharp. It doesn't look realistic. Uh, there's a little nodule right here, which needs to be sorted out. So there's little things that need to be sorted out. And then when we've done that, we need to add a bunch of resources to the island. So palm trees can be chopped down, um, other resources that a player can actually use, uh, and then animals and then test it, I guess. So yeah, we're not that far from the end. Um, if you're joining us in the map editor for the first time, Welcome. Uh, we're using W to go forward, S to go back, A to go left, D to go right, Q to go down, E to go up. We are clicking and holding the right mouse button to pan the camera around. If we select an object, are you an object? You are an object. So it's R to rotate, T to transform, C to clone, delete to delete. We have to click yes though because enter doesn't work. Um, and then F to focus. And then there's all the controls. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So what we're going to do is uh, soften this edge first of all. It it's not a lot. Don't I mean you could probably get away with not doing anything here, but honestly, if it bothers me as a map maker, it might bother a player. Also, I'm just looking at this water and wow, it, it does actually look pretty sweet. Um, so what we're going to do is go to terrain. We're going to need a brush here. We're going to hit the cog first of all. We're going to hit display ocean. We're going to turn it off. But wait a second, wait a second, we know this one, display ocean. And now the shadows, as we go up and down, are all messed up. And it's, well, if anything, it's distracting. See, half shadow, half not shadow. So, yeah, I often wonder what happens if you're running on a very low power system. And I should imagine if, uh, if lighting and shadows aren't working properly, that's what you're going to see. Uh, there is a way around that though. Um, we turn the ocean back on and then we just look directly up at the skybox. Display ocean off. And then your shadows and everything are back to where they need to be. So you can have the ocean off and not get distracted by the fact the world isn't sort of glowing like it's just come out of a microwave. Anyway, this beach. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't look that good. Um, so we'll hit the third option with the brushes. So we're on the terrain. Third, uh, th third brush along a smooth height. I'm going to change the side of the brush down so it's a bit more manageable. We're using the feathered edge brush because, I mean, why would you not? Uh, make sure the amount slider, well, yeah, keep it down. You never really need to crank it all the way up. I mean, the uh, the smooth height is fine, but with set height and raise and lower, especially raise and lower, you crank that up, forget about it because you're using the smooth height brush, go back to it and then click. I mean, you've got to save often, right? Because there's no one do. So, 
Um, yeah, that will create a spike all the way to the skybox. Um, so we're going to do is hit smooth height. Um, we've got the soft brush, and we're just going to click and hold, and just kind of soften this edge up. It's going to be subtle. We're going to push that into the cliff piece because the uh, island to mesh island terrain no island mesh runs under these cliff pieces and these rock pieces so i'm just gonna click and hold for a bit i'm just gonna allow it to do its thing just moving the brush backwards and forwards and it's subtle i mean it's super subtle honestly but it does what it, it well it does what it needs to do i suppose it does it does what we need it to do as well display ocean back on and that's a bit more rounded there it's not going to be perfect because we do have deep water here and we are very, very close to the abyss. I mean, boom, straight down into, uh, well, Cthulhu's bedroom, I guess. But that feels a little bit better. It's just the tiny little things. We're going to hit on objects. We're going to click on this. Now, there is a problem with objects when you have a lot of objects together. Uh, you click on something to select it. You move it. And as soon as you let go, another object way in the background is automatically automatically selected by the game because I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why it keeps switching out to different objects so we've got this cliff piece here and this little nubbin of stuff it just looks like a an error like a glitch or something so we're going to pull this up a little bit by grabbing the red toggle pulling it up until that's connected to everything else noting that the object selection is now something else in the background. In fact, I know what it is in the background and we're going to actually move that object in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that looks a little bit better. It's a tiny little change, but it's a needed change. Huh. So that now looks like more natural rock formation. However, we've got all these little bits of the base of that cliff is, uh, is now poking out here. Now we, we patched that temporarily by using this cliff here. Now we're going to pull this cliff up. This is the one that was selected by the game. And now it's gone and selected something else entirely. And I don't really care because we are done here. So yeah, the um, the base of these cliff pieces is, is hollow and open. And in order to mask that, we threw another cliff piece in and just jammed into the ground. Uh, what I will do though is move this palm tree just a little bit so it's not growing through the rock. There we go. And just check this one over here. I'll move you out a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Uh, if a player comes along and chops these palm trees down and they're in rock, what could happen is you have uh, suddenly a physics object inside a non-physics object and that, uh, that palm tree might actually reach orbit. So that would be fun in a sort of weird, oops, didn't think about that kind of way. But okay, so we could hit terrain objects. And we're going to go to the other side of the island. Um, oh yeah, did I explain? I don't know if I explained. I probably explained. I explain every video, but there's a reason everything looks a little bit herky-jerky. And that's because when you hold down W, there should be constant movement. But because there are so many objects, uh, what happens is the camera slows down when it gets close to an object. If you have, oh, I don't know, a couple of hundred objects on an island, it's slowing down and speeding up all the time and it looks like lag it is not lag it's literally because there are so many objects and the camera doesn't know what to do uh, no constant velocity unfortunately so that's a bit of a problem that's something we have to deal with also uh, when you see things pop up like a little bit of rock or texture up there that's lod so level of detail there's a lot of things that are sort of popping in and out um, don't worry about that that's probably the map editor because uh, because we have um, so much that we can see all at one time, there's not much occlusion going on. Uh, LOD tends to be quite aggressive. So these rocks over here, if we pull back, they turn into like just a weird mess. And then they sort of pop in when we get close to them. I don't think you need to worry about that. Just check it actually in the game uh, when you check your map. Hello, old chum, how are you? You seem like a happy shark. He is a happy shark. Ooh, with this little little gas gun there. I mean, here, old Great White, he looks fine. If he was just walking around on the island with his little wooden legs, you'd be like, oh, hello, with his little top hat on. Great. Stick that boy in the ocean. Nope. Uh, nope, just everything. Nope. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we should probably do something with that as well. Anyway, 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 this beach. Oh, this beach. This is a bit of a problem because we have a lagoon over here. And the green's great. 
and I was thinking, well, I need to come back and do more to it. Honestly, I don't think I do. I think it's fine the way it is. I think it's fine the way it is, so that's okay. Um, this needs something done to it because it doesn't. It now doesn't match any of the other cliff pieces on the island. So add some plants to it uh, and and things, and that'd be that'd be sweet. But this bit here, the beach. Now we have inland. We have an area here. So we got old Skelly Bob there, and we have kind of um, sort of an area further back from the actual shoreline. Oh, we're in a tree. Oh, we're in a rock. Nope, we're in a bush. Uh, so there we go. It's a problem moving the camera around. Um, yeah, so this area of the shoreline, it's sandy, but this, this doesn't get uh, affected by time and tide, which is nice. It's a nice little sheltered area. Hello, Skelly Bob. What are you doing? Ah, you're waiting for a bus. Good. Well, you're going to be waiting for a long time. And then we got the beach, which just kind of feels flat and open, which I guess it should. It just doesn't feel right, right? And we've done so much work on the rest of the island. We've got these little offshore islands. We've got these inshore uh, areas for trees and things. We've got rocks. Maybe we can just add a few rocks. Maybe we can just keep it simple. Maybe we can't. All right, hit terrain. Uh, let's display ocean. Oh. No, remembering we have to look at the skybox. Let's play ocean off. Yeah, I just, I just, I can't, I just can't, you know. Uh, we're gonna hit set height, which is the middle button. Read terrain paint height, which is this one here. Select some dry sand, and then come out a little bit. And then what we're going to do is, I mean, it's fine, but it's, mm, it's just being flat and boring. Boring, and I don't like it. Uh, the amount slider's down, so I'm just going to paint out a little bit through here, making sure that we're not on the cog or anything silly. Hello. Just want to just want to paint out here. Uh, it's never going to go higher than than this sand, uh, so that's not a problem. There we are. And then we'll just sort of paint back here as well. Um, so what we can have is some very low lying. I mean, it's still going to be a big sweeping beach. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. Well, not going to be a problem for anyone sort of swimming, swimming out here. Oh, I don't want some little fishies for dinner. Well, don't worry about it. You'll get you'll get your dinner fish, I guess. Um, I mean, sure. I don't actually eat fish, so I don't. I don't know. We're going to set the amount up. We've got the smooth uh, smooth height tool. Ah, the sun. The sun's gone because there's a cloud in front of it. No, there isn't a cloud in front of it. I thought I disabled that, the the sun coming in and out, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem to do anything. So we've got the set height, uh, smooth height, um, brush selected. We need it to be quite big because we need it to select a lot of these little triangly bits. So if you can kind of see, there's a everything's in triangles. Um, that's just the the nodes on the mesh. So we need to uh, let's crank this up. We need to smooth all this back now that we've brushed it up. Um, can we smooth it back? Oh, is this all the way up? It is all the way up. Mm. Unfortunately, looking in a 3D space, having to move the camera around in this 3D space, um, it's very, very tricky to see any fine movement. So I'm just kind of pushing and holding uh, for most of this. There we go. There we go. Let's turn the ocean back on. Ocean. Hello. Now, what have we done? What have we done? Change the time of day. So that's dry sand. And that is very much wet sand. Yes, the uh, the water now comes all the way back here. And if we... Ugh, that's a very dry and empty beach. And that is... Uh, oh, it's very hard to see. Yeah. Kind of there, I guess. It's a wet beach, right? That's fine. So we got a we got a starting point. Let's go back to midday, uh, and then we're going to read uh, read terrain set height, and I'm going to read it from down here. I'm just going to sculpt the beach a little more. Uh, make sure the amount slider is all the way down, because I don't want it all the way up. And then just push. Back. So even though the drawer is really big. It kind of we're, we're back to that. Ugh, it doesn't quite look that good. 
it's going to push someone's back in on itself. So I want the little scalloped effect. There we go. It's better. Um, smooth everything off. And then the brush above the water, you can't see it below the water, and below the water you can see it anywhere, in fact. Uh, that's because the, the mesh and the underwater layer are two different things. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're just going to push and hold and just smooth this off. Just actually crank that up. Uh, and just understand that it's smooth. We don't need to really spend too much time underwater. Or you see. Or you see. And the underwater is going to be covered in, covered in fish and coral and rocks and things. Because that's what the game generates. Right, so we've got a little nub in the land sticking out. A little nub in the sand. Uh, which is good. And then we're going to throw some bits and pieces here. So we'll go to objects. Uh, we're going to rocks. And um, we're going to just throw a few big rocks in and some, some palm trees really. That's all we're going to do. Just break up this, uh, break up the shore a little bit. So we'll do that. Uh, crank down into the sand. There's no, um, there's no sprites, no grass sprites or forest floor sprites to worry about. So we don't need to, don't need to spend too much time on that. Uh, shall I rock one? Can, can I just throw you in? That probably would be a lot easier. So I'll get rid of you. Shall I rock two? Very important that it's shoreline rock two, not shoreline rock one. If you put shoreline rock one in, this one here, you'll never be able to select it once you've deselected it. It is basically impossible. Um, has that been fixed? No. Is it ever going to be fixed? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we got some got some rocky boys, and I keep forgetting about the shoreline rocks, but they are very very useful. It's just a bunch of broken rocks. Um, that you can throw down for interest on the beach and then you can close it and then it oh, not items but trees terrain objects so we don't have anything selected and then we can throw some palm trees in now we're going to throw a lot of palm trees in because we're going to have to uh, people are going to want to come and chop them down and turn them into fuel and houses and wood and things um, I don't know I, I'm guessing a lot of people uh, will just go to an island and deforest it and then go, oh, this beautiful island that you've created, it's been completely deforested because I wanted to build a super awesome house and now it looks like butt. And I'm like, um, sorry, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and then people like me will just be like, hmm, I like the way this island looks. I'll go and deforest some other island and then turn that into a raft or a house or a freaking hot tub. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. We're just having a, a slight problem with the camera. Don't worry about it. Oh. Remember what I was saying about the uh, the items and everything? That was just tapping D on the keyboard. Uh, that's because we have all these items behind us. So, yeah. Yeah, navigating is going to get to... A, a, like, if anything, is just going to start being a problem. Um is getting the camera in a position where we can actually start putting stuff down. Young palms, yep, I do like a couple of young palms. Uh, so we'll throw these down. They're quite good because they give you uh, fibrous leaves. They regrow. Just going to make sure they are in the ground. That one is, that one is. Excellent. Uh, going to check the tide as well. So we'll go back to terrain. Clog. And then we can use the, use the fact that the brush doesn't appear from above underwater to work out exactly where how far the tide comes up. It's actually not too bad. It doesn't flood our plants. It still comes in quite a quite a long way. Nice. That's as that's about as high as it gets. Alright, cool. Yep, it doesn't swamp our little uh, little little nub in the land, little peninsula. And then we can put it out as far as it goes, and I think that is absolute low tide. Yep. So the fact that they added tides to the game is is quite good. Uh, and when you are designing an island, just keep uh, keep an eye on that. You have to change the time of day in order to get those tides to work. But yeah, I think this works. I think this works. It's not going to stop a player running along the beach. Uh, certainly, it's not going to swamp what we've created. Also, so that's not a problem. How wet does this get here? Oh, that does get swamped. Okay. So what we can do is hit terrain. Uh, we have got terrain. 
Nope, terrain, uh, we want to raise and lower, there we are. Uh, so I want to raise, I need to change the amount slider down. If we were to click now, that would be a mistake. What? Yeah, that would be a complete mistake. Uh, change the size right down. And I'm going to raise the terrain in here a little bit. There we go. Just so it's kind of, there we go, just a little bit, a little bit higher. Uh, then we hit smooth and then smooth this down. Let's be doing a little bit clicky boy. There we are. So what have you done? Why, why did you do that? Well, going back to the cog and going back to the, going back to the time, finding absolute high tide. That's all now blue in there with our brush. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So change it back to like mid, Day? Is that midday? That is midday. Oh, we're working the shadow because we put trees there. Why did we do that? Don't know. Um, I went to press T for terrain and that's not going to work. Uh, o for objects. Wish you could do that. T is transform. So I'm going to move these lads out of the way for a second. Get out of the way so we can actually see what we're doing. I'm going to leave the young palms there so we've got a, an idea of where we're building out to. And then we're just going to add some, some plants. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Why oh, were we not? That's always going to be the question. So we can add a serum in there. Uh, drop it down. And then rotate it in such a way that it doesn't uh, have its leaves grotesquely clipped through rocks and things. Because if we do that, uh, well, that's a bit of a problem. We could add a nana in here. It's hilarious because people want to jump on rocks, especially near the shore. And then you jump on a nana and your camera shakes and freaks out because... Uh, the Nana's hitbox, hitbox? Collision uh, box is insane. It's just it's really weird. Um, do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? Knowing knowing what we know about the, the collision model for the Nana. Yeah, I, I really do. I really do. Uh, so we're just going to move this down. We're going to make sure it's in the terrain. And it appears it is. Uh, I have actually put one of the leaves so we can get away from the nut. That's that's full. That is full speed on the on the old uh, keyboard. That was not going anywhere. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just angle this down. One of the leaves is deliberately inside this rock, um, just to just to make sure that just rotate it backwards and forwards, and then it goes snaps to the um, snaps the shoreline rocks. Yeah, so. It would look uncomfortable if it wasn't um, fully inside, I think. Is that still in there? Maybe? Oh yeah, no, there it is. So I've put that leaf fully inside that rock. Uh, so it just doesn't look like it's clipped in or broken by the rock. It's always weird when you see a, when you see foliage in a video game. And like part of it is one side of a rock and part of it's the other side, like a branch. It's like, well, who made this map? Why didn't you just think to move a few bits around a little bit better I don't know I mean you had all the time in the world maybe unless you were EA in which case um, fixed terrain is probably part of DLC so whatever uh, we could add an aloe vera could just on the shore little, little cheek, cheeky aloe vera oh we're adding loads of stuff here though hmm hmm it's possible it's possible I don't, I don't know why would we not do that I don't know. So we'll hit uh, terrain and objects and then grab these objects and move them back. And then this time I'm going to move this right into the rocks. How about that? Wait a second. What? Why are you doing that? Making sure that the trunk is actually in the ground and not actually touching the rocks. Fine. So that's going to be a bit better. So let me move this lad back. Hello, I am also a tree. Ah, excellent. Um, we can move him back. Up. And then down, so it's just touching the ter uh, the um, terrain. Yep, that's okay. Uh, oh. Hello, and welcome to a completely different part of the island. Hmm, that that speed up and slow down thing. I guess how close to we uh, we were f probably fairly close to that. I'm just strafing. I'm literally just tapping A and tapping D, and there's no difference between this and then suddenly being inside the forest. It's it's so strange. Uh, so I'm just gonna move these around a little bit so they look a little better. So we've created a little island, uh, uh, island, little oasis of plants. 
that was on a very empty beach. Ah, look at that. Excellent. Let's move this a little bit further in and then drag it down and then. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, beach. Goodbye, island. Good night, island. Uh, the thing that I was trying to do is hitting R to rotate because the palm tops are basically the same regardless of palms. So I just wanted to rotate this around so it didn't look identical as you're running along the beach. Now, we had an empty beach. Now, if you're running along the beach, we have this on the edge. Oh, excellent. Well, what does that do? Well, that means if you're running along here, there's some interest. There's a, it's a, literally a point of interest from any direction. You're running along and so it's like, huh, there's something there. And I can go and pick the thing from it. Great. Um, it just doesn't look like an empty air speech. So if we go up. Yeah. It's such a small change, but it has such a big impact on the island. And now this whole area, I know it's kind of big and sandy, but if you wanted to build a house there, you could build a freaking mansion there. That's not an issue. Um, so we've left it open deliberately, but we've also now tied this in with the rest of the island. So if you run along this beach, you have things to the left and the right of you, you have the forest on one side and the little offshore island on the other side. And obviously that lad there. Um, here you've got a little, so little island. We've, we've kept the theme going around the whole map. And there are some different areas. There's some rocky areas. So we've got the rocky areas here. We've got the jumping puzzle, which is out at sea, which mirrors the rocky areas back on the land. So they don't look out of place. Uh, we didn't just put a load of rock stacks out at sea and was like, oh, that's a jumping puzzle. No, no, no. We got rock stacks on the land as well, which lead to the uh, lead to the forest, which is raised up and there's cliff pieces there. So, yeah, there's a there's a lot of it now tying in with itself. And even though this is still a big and open beach, if you wanted to crash land your raft on it, well, I mean, you can do it. It's, uh, yeah, good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So we've done what appears to be not a lot, yet actually quite a bit. Um, yes. So what do we need to do in future? Well, we are going to need to look at resources, definitely. So resources are a definite thing that we're going to need to add, and animals. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll work on that. Until then, uh, I'm going to call it there. So if you like this, definitely leave, leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>